Premier League football returns for the first time in a fortnight this weekend and Crystal Palace are the opponents at Old Trafford looking to end Manchester United's winning run at home. The reverse fixture comes just 17 days after two sides met at Selhurst Park in a match that saw United concede a late equaliser after Michael Oles beat David De Gea with a fine free kick. Bruno Fernandes had given Eric Ten Hag's side the lead late on in the first half, but a one-goal advantage was not enough and two points were eventually dropped in the capital. A last gasp defeat to Arsenal followed four days later which means United are winless in each of their last two Premier League matches. While both of those and, in fact, all of the club's last six matches have been televised in the UK, that run is now set to end. Saturday's match is not one of the five matches selected by BT Sport or Sky Sports to be shown over the course of this weekend. Those televised fixtures start on Friday with a West London Derby as Chelsea face Fulham before coverage continues on Saturday with the early game between Everton and Arsenal. Newcastle United face West Ham United in front of the cameras later on. Not in the UK. The matches at Stamford Bridge and St. James Park Sandwich United hosting Palace at 3 p.m., which will not be screened live due to a ban on televising action between 2.45 p.m. and 5.15 p.m. on Saturdays as a result of the blackout that the FA impose under Article 48 of UEFA regulations. On Sunday, Nottingham Forest host Leeds United in a relegation six-pointer before Manchester City make the trip to Tottenham Hotspur to conclude the weekend's schedule. NBC Sports Peacock streaming service will be showing the match across the U.S. with kickoff set for 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The platform will also be showing three other matches at the same time, including Brighton and Hove Albion vs Bournemouth, Brentford vs Southampton and Wolverhampton Wanderers vs Liverpool. As with all matches, United will have their own radio commentary on MUTV, but you can also follow the action as it unfolds with the Manchester Evening News dedicated Matchday blog, which starts four hours before kickoff and covers you throughout the 90 minutes and beyond with analysis, updates and reaction.